There's a lot of questions surrounding a devastating fire that gutted a North Philadelphia church. What we do know is the congregation has no place to worship this Sunday. Now, this is reporter Trang Doe is in North Philadelphia, where Trang firefighters are still on the scene. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Rahel and Jim. Yes, the pastor's son tells me that church leaders are still scrambling to find a place to worship this Sunday. He's really hopeful that they will soon pinpoint a cause to this fire. And you can see, again, firefighters remain on scene here, though they appear to be wrapping up. Now, investigators have yet to get inside because it has been flaring up for the past 16 hours on and off. They hope to do that later today. Devastating. The uh, community family, the service community, devastated. Frederick Tukes looks at the church that has been the center of his family for the past four decades. The North Broad Street building just off Temple's campus was gutted by a fire that started around 2.30 Thursday afternoon. My sister and I, we, we, we closed up Tuesday night. We had service at church. So we closed up, cut everything off, made sure the building was secure, made sure the building was safe before we left. We always do that. The first crews arrived on scene to find heavy smoke and flames on the inside of the building. The fire quickly rose to three alarms. Came to get my car after class and smoke everywhere, helicopters everywhere. It's hard to breathe, really thick smoke. Firefighters worked through the day and night to get the stubborn fire under control and continued to put out hot spots overnight. They made it through the front door. And as they were going into the building, they were actually forced out by the, uh, the heat and the fire. And I can tell you, uh, it takes a lot to force Philadelphia firefighters out of a building. LNI crews were eventually called in to bust holes into the side of the building to help get water in. Fire investigators have yet to get inside. It could be days, weeks, or even months for us to understand uh, exactly what happened here. Now, despite the size of this fire, there was no one injured. It's really miraculous for that. Now, investigators, again, still trying to get inside this building eventually, but we are told that there is no danger of external collapse. It's the inside that they are concerned about. But for now, we're live from North Philadelphia. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. For Helen Jim, back to you. Thank you, Trang.